Hey guys, it's Louise here and welcome back to my channel. So today, this week has gone really quickly. I We have episode three of Ahsoka and it feels like this week has gone really quick because last week I was like, oh my God, it's going to take so long before we get the next episode. It's flown in really quickly. So I'm really happy about that. Uh, I'm excited to see the third episode and to see what kind of things we get to do and what we get to see. Who we get to see? Are we going to get to see my boy? My boy, Callus? <laughs> Are we going to get to see Zeb? Are we going to get to see, uh, I don't know, I don't know what else, Rex maybe? Uh, I'm still waiting for them to talk more about Jason. Are we going to get any, I don't know, there's there's so much that we could have. And I mean, I'll take anything, but I mostly want Callus. I want my boy. I want my boy. Oh, he's backwards. Oh, no. Sorry, Callus. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited for this episode. So let's get into it and see what happens. Guys, guys, I got Callus on my microphone. His little Lego hand clasps onto the, onto the side. I'm so happy. Ah! Oh! Oh, that's sick! Oh, this is so cool. Oh. It's been a while. Obviously. I <laughs> see you still remember the basics. Learning to wield the force takes a deeper commitment. How? That's something you'll have to discover. Well, I discovered that according to Hu Yang, I'm the worst candidate to be a Jedi out of every Jedi he's ever <laughs> known. You told her that? It's true. I mean, he's just being honest. I think it does. Feel my presence. Take in all that is around you. Ahsoka is such a great teacher. Dude, Kanan would be so proud of Sabine. She's getting somewhere. Or not. <laughs> Let's go again. Oh, dude, that's so cool. I love how she's trying to get her to open up to the force. Time to fly. You mean time for Zeb and Callus to fly to wherever they are, right? How's young Jason? Fine, Chancellor. In fact, he's on board. <gasps> Is <Somewhere>. he? <laughs> Causing trouble with Chopper, no doubt. Most likely. Forgive me, Madam Chancellor. <laughs> we could just hear the General's report. We're late as it is. It always does. Involving Thrawn. Grand Admiral Thrawn. But how is that possible? He disappeared years ago. I have reason to believe he's alive. General, be honest. Isn't this just another attempt to gain New Republic resources to aid in what has ultimately been your personal quest to find Ezra Bridger? Ezra vanished while fighting Thrawn. And that you conveniently use a threat of Thrawn's return to acquire those resources that could be put to a more practical purpose, helping the people of our fledgling Republic. Were you ever in the war, Senator? No. Oh, asking the real questions. Just sat back and waited to see who came out on top. Oh, damn, girl. Shit. Grand Admiral Thrawn is dead. Prove it. I'm sorry to say it is my opinion that your friend Ezra Bridger heroically. Nobody wants your opinion. You that. General. Hera. I don't like any of them except for Mon Mothma. That went well. Wait, Mom. Mom. <gasps> is it true Aunt Sabine is going to be a Jedi? Ah! Where did you hear that? Chopper told me. Yeah. Yeah. Nathan! I want to be a Jedi. Yeah, I know you 
to teach me this. Ah! He can be like his dad. Then ah! again, you were always a fast learner. Ah! Well, like you said, weapons I can handle. It's. I was hoping that the urgency of our situation could expedite my training a bit. My hair is the same color as Sabine's. I've just realized that. I mean, you can't really see it on this camera, but... I know. I just... I can't use the Force. Not with that I attitude. Feel it. Not everyone can handle the type of discipline it takes to master the use of Force. He's making her want it. <laughs> I'm going to give this my best. Hell yeah, you are, Sabine. She wants to move that cup. <laughs> I only spoke the truth. The Jedi Order would not have accepted her. She is not an acceptable candidate. Well, by their standards, Jedi Order doesn't exist. I don't need Sabine to be a Jedi. I suppose you do come from a long line of non-traditional Jedi. That way, she fits right in. Long line of non-traditional Jedi, you say? <laughs> At least while she's training, she doesn't have Chopper here to annoy her and troll her the way he did with Ezra. <laughs> like when he thought he lifted the cup and it was just Chopper lifting it. <laughs> you win this round. <laughs> uh oh. Tail gun, please. On it. Oh, this is exciting. Come on, Sabine. Remember, learn to anticipate. Now's not the time for a lesson. Sabine, tell me what you need. Move on my signal? Copy. All right. Get ready. Ready. But I really hope they don't kill the Inquisitor. Yay, let's go, Sabine! Yeah, I don't want them to kill the Inquisitor. I want more of him. Oh, nice. Oh. If I had to guess, I would say it is some sort of hyperspace ring. I'd like to confirm that. Prepare turbo lasers. You should just go full Night Sister magic on them. Rock. From up on my wing and wait for my signal. Little closer. Are you prop wire? Closer, please. Booyang's a beast. I'm so glad he's in this so much. I thought he was just going to be like a quick side character. I was wrong. And I'm so happy. Let's go! Oh! Destroyed. She looks so cool. Holy fuck! Holy shit! Dude, no way. That's so cool. Holy shit! Dude! <sighs> 
Dude, she is insane. She looks so sick. No. What? What is it? Ah, the babies! Hi! Oh my god! The pergles! Stop! Oh my god, they're so huge! They look so cool. It'd be cool to know if like Ezra like has connected with all of them and is like controlling them from like a distance or something. Like specifically said, hey, if you find my friends, protect them. <laughs> Good luck reporting back to Morgan. Hey! Oh. Took my battery back up a wild cycle, I suppose. What did I miss? <sighs> we almost died. Multiple times. Ah, yes. Standard operating procedure. Man, this place is very red. It's giving Forrest Dathomir. <laughs> Yeah, good luck finding them in between all those trees. Good fucking luck. This looks so pretty. Think we can chance it? Are you alright? Haven't seen those creatures since the day Ezra disappeared. Anything interesting? So it is a hyperspace ring. Yes, but I have never seen one built on this scale before. A craft with these power levels and configuration would be capable of a hyperspace jump of astonishing speed and distance. We anchored a ring like that make a jump to a neighboring galaxy. Theoretically, if one knew the coordinates and navigation, yes, I believe it could. That's insane. The archives speak of intergalactic hyperspace lanes between galaxies, which used to follow the migration paths of star whales named Purgle. Like the ones we just saw. Really? Well... <laughs> Already? Why was it so short? What? No! Stop making episodes shorter and shorter. It's <sighs> Dude, why is there so many minutes of credits? You want more content we could have got? Ugh. 31 minutes. Come on. Come on, my dudes. Come on. Oh, man. Oh, well, that was that was a really fun episode, actually. I love um, how they're basing a lot of this on Sabine's training and, you know, her... Her and Ahsoka trying to work together and trying to sort of make things, you know, make things work out between them. Um, I, as I said earlier, I'm really glad that Hu Yang has got such a big role and that he's like always kind of in the episodes. Like he's just, he's playing such an important part and I think that he needs to be there and I'm glad that he is. I'm glad that it's Hu Yang. Um, because, you know, we didn't get to see enough of him in like the Clone Wars and I feel like it's nice now that we get more of him. Uh, we get more of his personality. And yeah, it's just really, really nice, honestly. Uh, we got to see Jason. I am mind blown. That's like one of the people that I've been like hoping for the entire time. Like obviously my main hope is like Callus and Zeb and stuff like that. But obviously I've been saying for so long now, I wonder if we get to see Jason. I hope we get to see Jason like with his little cute green hair and his little cute long ears and stuff like that. 
I'm so fucking glad that he's here. And I'm wondering if there's ever going to be a time where he asks about his dad. Like, is Hera going to tell him stories about Kanan? Like, I think that would be such a sweet moment for us to have because obviously, you know, we're not going to get to see Kanan unless there's some kind of flashback, but I, I really don't think we're going to get to see any kind of, like, flashback off him or anything. Um, but I would like to hear a mention of his name. I feel like it would be a sin if they didn't at least mention him. Um, so, I mean, obviously they paid tribute to him with Sabine cutting her hair in the previous episode and stuff like that because that was, you know, basically mirrored, like, parallel to him. Um, but it'd be nice to see if Jason asks any questions about Kanan. That'd be very interesting. I'm very, really, really, really glad. And they casted him perfectly. Like, he looks so, like, he looks so good. Um, and there's just, oh, it's so sweet. When they mentioned his name, I was like, and then I saw him and I was like, <laughs> um, everyone else around Mon Mothma's table, absolute assholes. Don't like any of them. Love Mon Mothma. Absolute queen. Always slays. Um... I'm hoping that they can get some kind of proof and be like, hey, Thrawn is still out there. We need help. And then that's when Zeb and Callus roll up and they're like, ayo, bitches. Um, and the Purgle, the Purgle looked so fucking good in live action. And they're huge. Like, they're so much bigger than I remember. Like, I feel like the scale of them in live action looks so much bigger than just being an animation. And I'm so glad that they've implemented them into this as well. And I'm glad that it was Sabine that got to witness them. Because, you know, Ezra means a lot to her. And that was, again, the last time that they saw him. And that, that's just going to give her a little bit more hope, honestly. And I'm so happy. I'm loving this show so far. I think the pacing is actually really good as well. Uh, I know a, couple, like, a lot of people have complained about the pacing and stuff. But, you know, it's not for everybody. Me, personally, I'm really, really enjoying it. And I'm so excited for next week to see more. Um, so let me know what you guys think in the comments. Are we going to get to see Rex? Are we going to get to see Callus and Zeb? Uh, are we going to get a mention of Kanan? Uh, who do you guys think the Inquisitor is? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. So peace and may the force be with you.